this is Emily with The Pinning Mama. Welcome to Boot Camp Lesson 4. I'm so excited to tell you about today's tutorial. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you how to make the popular state vinyl decals with the crop tool. First of all, I have this nice striped file. It's free on, w, on The Pinning Mama, www.thepinningmama.com. I will link it in the post for you. Um, you just pop on over there and upload the file. Um, you, it's super, super easy. I also have a, the polka dot file for you. I'll show that in the next video. Um, you could also make your own um, using the rectangle and just duplicate it, but it's super easy to pop on over and um, download this file that I've already made for you. So now that you have your stripes open, you want to get your face, or not your face, get your state that you want to do. I'm going to choose Utah because that's where I'm originally from. Uh, the font I use for this is called, I'll show you, it's called State Face. And what you do is you type in a certain letter uh, and then it types in the state you're going to use. Utah is lowercase r. Um, and if you see on mine, let me click off for you and make it bigger. Um, the Utah is... has a little bit of a lake right there. So what I did earlier is I opened the Utah state and I made it bigger and then I erased by right clicking and releasing um, the compound path. I erased all of the, the lake so that I could just do the outline. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this um, onto my stripes file. Voila. So what you want to do is once you get your state up, kind of make it as big as you want to fit on your page. So first we want to do is you want to hold down the shift key, select the black stripes and the Utah, and you want to right, let's do it again, select the Utah and the black stripes. You're going to right click and you're going to duplicate. And then you're going to pull that over and you're going to put it on the side. So you have black stripes with the Utah and you have black and white stripes with the Utah. This is really key that you duplicate this before you do anything to your picture because once you start erasing stripes like what we're going to I'll show you in just a second you want the stripes to be in the exact spot that they were when you very first started so make sure you duplicate it that's that's a that's a big deal here you have to start it all over if you forget to duplicate so next thing you're going to do is we're going to select the black stripes on this main picture and you're going to want to delete those black stripes so now you're left with white stripes with Utah and black stripes with Utah um Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to select the white stripes and select the Utah and you're going to go over to the crop tool which is this or the modify panel and that's going to take you to the crop tool. We're going to go like this and we're going to select the whole thing like that and you're going to want to click crop. So now it cropped out um, all the stripes except for that are inside of the Utah. We're doing the same thing over here. Select black, select that. Not like that. And we're going to put. Oh. Okay, one more time. <laughs> put the word. <laughs> Apparently, I'm having a hard time. Box around. And you're going to crop. Okay. Before I do anything and it's still selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to group. Same thing over here. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to group so that the stripes move all together as one. It makes it much easier. Okay, let me do this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Okay, so move the black stripes over and you want to try and line them up as close to it as possible. Okay. 
You can always zoom in to get it even more perfect. Um, so just get as perfect as you can. The reason we why you couldn't leave it out and just cut the lines when we first did it is the lines are super close and on top of each other and it would confuse the software. Um, there's another way you can do this using the divide tool and I'll show you guys in another lesson once we start learning the basics of silhouette design. Um, Cause in today we're focusing on the crop tool. So let's next add a text if you want. Let's do a, a quick text. I'm gonna choose like a scripty text. Let me just look over here. I'm choose um, I'm gonna add this is one of my fun a hamster. And I'll type in Utah. Make it bigger. Oops. Oh well, I'm gonna have time here. Okay. We need to weld that together. So you can move it as one. Okay. All right. Why is this being so funny on me? There we go. Now you want to put it a certain color. I'm gonna fill mine in with gold. So it looks fancy. All right, so Utah. And then you can move it around however you want it, make it bigger or smaller. And then I'm gonna pull, grab some flowers. I um, grabbed some flowers earlier off of the Silhouette um, Design Store. And I'm just going to put them on here and make them a little bit smaller, turn them a little bit, kind of put them where you want. So what you would do is you would cut the black and white, the black, the white, you would cut your Utah and then you would cut your flowers and then you put it all together. Um, It looks really complicated, but I promise you it's super easy once you kind of just start dividing the pieces out. Um, if you have any questions about the crop tool or anything, just pop on over to the blog. Um, and you can make sure you also sign up for the boot camp posts and on the blog as well. And you'll get notified every time that we're going to put a boot camp up. Um, I, can, I do them every week. And anyway, I have two more videos on this same lesson four about the crop tool, just different ways of using the crop tool. So um, thanks, guys.